about oil and gas companies sure. and um, there's been some, some reports from the fourth quarter of them increasing their stock buybacks. There was already, you know, an, a time when there was a spike in gas prices last year, I think in the fourth quarter. Um, and you're also just seeing the company is saying that they're kind of reluctant to up production and they kind of in some ways point to the administration's policies overall in the sense that even if they were to up production, that one takes months to, to get to market and two doesn't fit in with the overall approach that this administration is taking. So what do you say to, to, to the, that kind of viewpoint? Well, I, I think it's hard for them to make the argument. It's anything other than business decisions on their part, uh, and they have said that themselves. Um, the CEO of Occidental Petroleum said, quote, we have no need and no intent to invest in production growth this, this year. CEO of Marathon Oil said, quote, our cash flow driven return of capital framework uniquely prioritizes our shareholders as the first call on cash flow generation, not the drill bit. CEO of Pioneer Natural Resources said, quote, we're not going to change our growth rate. We think it's important to return cash back to shareholders. That's a business decision. The oil and gas industry right now is receiving profit, uh, windfall profits. We've seen that. They publicly report their profits. They publicly report this information. And instead of keeping up with current demand, too many of these companies, in our view, are making the calculated decision of returning money to investors and shareholders through buybacks and dividends instead of expanding production enough in the short term, which is what we need. Again, it's a business decision, but I think there's clear evidence of them acknowledging and even shouting that out. Go ahead. So I have a China question and with full awareness of the new cycle, a St. Patrick's Day question. 